exciting to be back vlogging again. So weird to be back vlogging, but today we are painting my Lady Dior bag and we're calling it the Lady Adarnique as a reference to one of my paintings that I did in my artist residency last year. Um, I've already started it. I didn't really film the beginning because I was kind of nervous to start and I didn't want to have the pressure of having a camera while I begin the painting because the frame and the outlines is definitely the hardest and I needed full focus. But I'll insert a photo of the original painting and I'll put it side by side so you can kind of see the reference of what's gonna be on my Lady Dior. So I'm just gonna keep painting and I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse. And painting today lady dior bag and i finished the two girls and but i gotta take a break because it's fashion week and we have walking runway training at the agency today and then after that i'm gonna go to an opening at the leslie Lohman museum which is the first queer art museum in new york city so i'll try to come take you with me and let's go so happy with how the bag is turning out so far i still have to do the bird and the fireworks but after that it's gonna be finished and i can't wait um i originally wanted to paint my first bag because when i was in my residency last year painted other unique i was kind of sad by the thought of i'd have to part ways with my painting whether that's it's because it's going to be sold or exhibited somewhere else and so for my birthday that year, I picked up this bag because it's a canvas bag type of paint I used. I knew that this would be the perfect canvas for it. And so, so that's why I started this bag so that I can take a Darnique with me everywhere I go, whether or not I have the painting with me. And that is the birth of Lady Adarnique. Quiet on set, please. And drum rolls, insert drum rolls, please, because we finally finished, but I finally finished my Lady Adarnique painting on my Lady Dior bag. And I finished the bird and the fireworks. I did a different sort of rendition with the girls and the bird and the fireworks to the original painting, just to make this a little bit more of a unique piece. I dressed it up, obviously, the pearl bracelet and the butterfly clips, just so it's a little bit more jazzy. And um, now that I've finished her and she's dry, I'm actually heading to an opening in the city for my friend's show, Deb. She is the winner of the blowing glass blowing competition in Netflix, and she's opening her new show called Fruiting Bodies, which is very interesting because it's a show that she recognizes how the material which is glass to be sort of like a gender neutral material and so she kind of delves deep into um gender identities with glass blowing through this show and and a lot of it from what i've seen so far 
is heavily based on the mycelian network, the fungi, the mushrooms, which I find so fascinating because that is definitely our ancestors and they don't have genders. So I'm very excited to see what she's gonna be presenting for her exhibit tonight, but we're gonna be wearing this. I'm gonna be styling it also so you can kind of see what I'm going for. Last year, I did, or maybe two years ago, I did a spring haul and I recently went over to my local Michaels and I saw that they were having a big spring sale and it's my favorite season. I've said it before, it's my favorite season. I just, I picked up a couple of things and I wanted to do a quick mini haul. We'll start with probably one of my favorite purchases from Michaels is this adorable rabbit cushion with ribbons for flowers. A little butterfly. Isn't it so cute? It looks so cute with my collection of pillows in my bed and my little stuffed bunnies. So they have another lovely addition to my bunny collection. And then I also picked up gorgeous metallic pink candlesticks and also Easter ribbons. One has like little bunnies on. One has this kind of like gingham vibe that I just love. And I was actually thinking maybe I can use this on my hair for the show today. Like maybe whether that's like is a hairband. Like is that gonna be a moment? <gasps> this actually could be so cute for tonight. And then I also picked up, I've heard about this before, but I've never tried it, the makeup eraser and a little ball that you can put your inside and throw it in your washer to clean the sponge. And I thought that was kind of ingenious and it's pink and it's spring. So I just picked those up. I also picked up a bunch of um, faux flowers just because, you know, they don't really die on you. It's just... It's great. They're beautiful year round. You don't have to worry about uh, watering them. But first thing that I picked up, isn't this so cute? Is this little uh, pink gingham wellies. That's kind of like a ceramic pot. And I picked up this bunch of kind of like dried pink grass perennial, mini perennial moments. And I put it on there. And I just thought this in my worlds, you know, is so perfect. So next up is this bunch of like faux grass, like a baby pink grassy moment. It goes with everything. Like I can put it in a little posy glass. It'll be so pretty. I also created my very own bouquet and I decided to do a wild and wonderful spring bouquet of all this beautiful flowers. So we have this like, I'm not sure if I think these are pink peonies or something. I'm not sure. Greens, greens, little lilies, um, pink cotton, orchids, and then just like more of this like pinky wild and wonderful fake bouquet. So you buy them in pieces and then you can obviously like put them together in a bouquet or put them separately but I just wanted to do something really beautiful and really grand. I picked up one makeup bit for this season and I just thought it's spring. It's my favorite color combination and when I saw this in Sephora I was just like I never really buy makeup palettes because I just don't but when I saw this the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette, the colors, oh my goodness, the colors are just incredible. I'm wearing Palladian and Fringe today. Just a little faint retro green eye and I just love it. I think it looks so good. I've never seen a palette, a retro palette like this and the packaging just got me. And last are clothing items. I only picked up a dress and a pair of shoes for spring. We'll start with a pair of shoes. I saw these online and I don't know when these came out but I was able to find them on StockX and they are the Nike Air Max Furiosas with the little ribbon that goes in the back. 
Um, this colorway is called the Honeydew. I'm not sure why it's the Honeydew. I don't see Honeydew colors in here, but it's basically just this like suede purple with this pistachio green with a pink ribbon that runs throughout. It's so pretty. And I even love the back of the shoe, the little thing. I think I'm going to wear this tonight with my new Lady Adarnik. Could be so perfect together. And then last, one last item is something very exciting. And I found this dress on, I was just kind of browsing at Nordstrom and it's from a brand called House of CB. It's basically this red dress and I'm in love with it because it's boned and corseted. And then you have like a lace up in the back so you can really like tie it. So this is the red dress on. This is called the carbon dress and it comes in a navy and a white with floral print. But I think this is the most perfect red dress. The boning and the corsetry just holds you in and gives like such an amazing shape. It comes with a little slit, the adjustable ribbon here, adjustable corset ribboning in the back. I can't wait for when the weather starts to be a little bit warmer and I can just be my little spring with a red dress on moment. Okay, I'm gonna start the outfit with this tool skirt from Amazon and um, this white bandeau top. Okay, we have a little low rise tool skirt moment with bandeau and then the vintage Ralph Lauren that I thrifted in this perfect purple color and then the Fury Eosas. This is the final look with the Lady of Arnique, Nike Fury Eosas. <laughs> I just got into the gallery, Lady of Arnique, with the fits. I ended up wearing the ribbon as a headband. And yeah, let's go see that show. finished the gallery and now we're at my favorite Chinese restaurant being me being the lucky wife I'm gonna show you what we ordered Meron po tayo my favorite baked pork pastry orange chicken sticky rice shumai pork shumai and shaolong bun yummy Wait, how do you say it? Hasue? No. Hachue? Hao Chu. Hao Chu. Ni hao ba. Xie xie ni. 